Hello, today we're going to be creating Airflow on an AWS EC2 instance. And we're even going to make a quick DAG. By the way, quick shout out to this YouTube channel called Data with Mark. He has a really good video as well on this topic that definitely helped me out with this video. So I'm going to be putting a link in the description. Definitely check out his video and his channel and make sure to subscribe to him. I have all the instructions right here on my GitHub, so there will be a link to that as well, and you can follow along. All right, let's get started. So first thing, make sure you're in AWS and go to EC2, and you're going to want to launch a new EC2 instance. Now we're going to give it a name, so we'll call it My Airflow Demo. All right, call it that. We're going to be using uh, Ubuntu. And then uh, make sure to pick for the AMI, this uh, 22.04. This was the one I found easiest to work with. And just click Confirm Changes um, if this window pops up for you. We are going to have to use um, not a free tier eligible one. Uh, that's going to be needed to have enough memory for the uh, PSQL instance. So we're going to need uh, two gigabytes of uh, memory. So select T2.small, and this will be fine for what we're doing. Uh, key pair, you can just create a new one or use an existing one. So we'll just quickly do that. We'll call ours, um, you know, anything, create key pair. We've got a file downloaded here, but we're just going to connect directly. We're not going to do the SSH. We'll connect through AWS. It's much uh, easier. Yeah, and that's it. Leave everything else as is and just click on launch instance. So this will just take like a minute and then we'll have our instance launched and we'll get into uh, the terminal commands. So we'll go to instances. Let's refresh and we can see here's that instance right here. So let's just wait till this is finished initializing. All right, looks like it's running. So we'll click on the instance ID and then you're going to want to click on connect, uh, scroll down and just click on connect. All right, and then you're going to be connected into terminal and we'll wanna go through and run all of these commands. So the first one we wanna run is going to be sudo apt update. So this is pretty much an old, good command always to run when you launch a new uh, EC2 instance. All right, great. Now that that's finished, we'll run our next command, which is going to be um, sudo apt install python3 dash p. So run this, uh, press yes. You're going to want to select both of these. So to do that, press spacebar down, press spacebar, and then you can press enter. Now that we finished that, uh, we're going to need to install SQLite. So we'll run sudo apt install SQLite three. All right. Next, we're going to need to install a Python virtual environment. So we'll press yes. All right. Then we're going to run. Uh, Python 3-m vem vem, that's going to help initialize our virtual environment. We need to do this source vem bin activate to activate our virtual environment. So go ahead and paste that. Uh, all right. And now we're in our virtual environment. So we need to install another thing, this um, sudo apt-get install lib QDev. I put optional here, but it's really not optional because when I don't install this, this does not work for me. So make sure you install this. All right, yes. So there we go. That's installing. Uh, we'll just again, spacebar, select all of these, press OK. Just let that run. All right, next we're going to install um, Apache Airflow. This is the version. This is uh, the constraints TXT file. You can use your own file here if you want. There's uh, lots of different constraint files out here, but I'm just going to use this one. Um, so yeah, just go ahead and copy that. All right, next we're going to run Airflow DB init just to initialize Airflow. 
Okay, we're going to install um, Postgres SQL Contrib. Yes. All right, run this. And then you're going to want to run psql to access the PostgreSQL shell. OK, uh, we're going to want to run this to create our database, uh, user Airflow with the password Airflow, and have all the privileges on. So just go ahead and copy this, and we'll paste that right in here. All right, let's run that. OK, now we need to exit PostgreSQL. So to do that, press Control D once, and let's run LS. Or sorry, press Control D twice. So press it again. And now run LS. And OK, now that you see Airflow here, we're going to want to CD into Airflow. If you run LS, you'll see all this stuff here, airflow.cfg, airflow.db, logs, and then web server uh, config.py. Um, so we're going to replace the connection string in the Airflow CFG. To do that, we run this command right here. So go ahead and paste that. OK. Um, and then let's just verify the SQL alchemy string. So this doesn't do anything. It's just to see the SQL alchemy string. So we can see that um, here. We get some information on that we're using Postgres uh, SQL here. So that's, that's good. We have that all set up. Um, let's also check the executor configuration. We're going to want to change it from sequential to local executor. So we'll run this to see that, the grep executor airflow.cfg. So you can see it's a sequential executor right there. Now, if we run this, it should uh, change that. So here we go. We're going to do the next step, run this one. And you see if we get it now, we have a local executor now. So all good there. Um, all right, now we're going to have to reinitialize our Airflow database. So run this command, Airflow DB init again. And that's done. Um, OK, and then we're going to create an Airflow user. Um, you can replace this with a real email. I just have a dummy email. Um, user Airflow, it's an admin, so we'll do that. It's going to ask for, all right, so give this a second. And yeah, now it's going to ask for a password, so I'm just going to write Airflow, and then I'm going to confirm, again, Airflow for the password. Um, okay, so, so next we need to do our security group in EC2 instance. So we need to open up port 8080. So to do that, let's go back to our EC2 instance. We go to uh, security, and we need to adjust our security group, add a new um, inbound rule here. So under inbound rules, we can click uh, launch a wizard, and it should open this uh, security group right up. And you can click on the security group here, and then you're going to want to edit the inbound rules. So we're going to add a new rule, custom TCP, and then we're going to put port 8080 here. And then we want the source to be anywhere IPv4. And this is going, we need to open up 8080. So if we save this, that should open that port up. Um, okay. So we're almost finished. We just have a few more steps left. So if we run this, uh, Airflow web server with this uh, and sign it should run in the background. Just set up Airflow. So give this a quick second. All right, so that should be all booted up. Go ahead, quickly press Control C to get back into our um, terminal. And we have one more command to run, which is just going to be Airflow scheduler. So if we run that, and you'll see again, the Airflow scheduler is starting up. 
and we should be pretty much good here. So if we go back to our instance and let's just go back here, you see this um, public IPv4. If you open that up, so you can open this up. Uh, we're going to change this to HTTP from HTTPS and then just put here um, 8080 like this. Press enter. And then you can see this takes you to your Airflow window. So Airflow, Airflow, and then click sign in. And you can see this is now working. So the next thing we're going to want to do is let's just make our first Airflow DAG in here just to test this out. So to do that, we'll just um, create another terminal window. So we'll just go back to EC2 instance connect and we'll connect one more time. All right, we're back in. So let's just CD into Airflow. And you see we're missing our uh, DAGs folder. You need a DAGs folder. So we'll just write make uh, directory uh, DAGs. And now we have our DAGs folder. So we'll go into DAGs and write nano. Um, and we'll call it uh, my new uh, DAG.py. We need it to be a Python file. And here we go. We're in um, here. And we can just paste in our, dummy, our test um, code here for our um, first DAG. So I have a pretty basic dummy DAG. It doesn't really do anything really, but it's going to show you that this is uh, working. So uh, yeah, just control S to save it, control X to exit. We've added that in. We go back here, you can see we have 42 DAGs, but now it took a few minutes for it, but you can see now we have 43 DAGs. Here's our new DAG. If we run this, so we'll turn it on, trigger it, and let's see if it is working. And there you go. Yeah, success. It's running. Um, so that's it. That's how you make a Airflow instance on an EC2 instance and, uh, you know, add some new DAGs. I hope this video was helpful in getting started with uh, Airflow and EC2. Thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.